Hi folks, I'm Tommy Emanuel. We are backstage in Hamburg in Germany and uh, I want to talk a little bit about the uh, guitars that I have on the road. I have three maidens on the road uh, and, and they're all very new. This, is, this one here, this 808, uh, I got in 2008 um, and it's become my kind of number one, uh, my, main, my main guitar. Um, I have another 808 uh, which was a brand new one and uh, I use uh, 12 to 54 uh, gauge on this guitar and I use 13, so I use mediums on the other guitar and tune the, it, it's a drop D tuning uh, and sometimes I drop the A down the G as well. Uh, the third guitar I have is a, t a new T1 um, which has the new style bracing that uh, uh, Andy at the Maiden Custom Shop is experimenting with and this guitar is much lighter than my older um, TE1s and uh, I think it's a better sounding guitar. It, it, it's, it's much more alive in my hands. Uh, a lot of people uh, think that I have a roadie, that, like that I have a guitar tech on the road. Uh, I only do that when I'm doing my, my band uh, tours, which is not very often these days. So on the road, I do most of my own maintenance of the, of, of the guitars. But um, and before I go out on every tour, I make sure the guitars have fresh batteries. I always use um, Everetti, no, sorry, I always use uh, um, um, Duracell Gold Top batteries um, or Everetti if, if, if uh, that's what I, all I can get. Um, and um, I, I carry the tool that, um, that straightens the neck uh, or, or, or lets it off, whatever the case is, uh, whatever is needed. Um, also, when you travel around Europe as much as I do and you have extreme temperatures here, uh, quite often uh, I'll, I'll have to adjust the neck either r right before the show or when I change the strings. So sometimes I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a new set of strings on and it'll just need, like, in, in, not even a quarter of a turn, it'll be just like the tiniest little bit of uh, uh, relief taken off. Um, and when I'm when I feel that uh, the the action's getting too much buzz or something like that, then I, I know I, the the nut is getting too low. Things like that, I I, uh, I get them replaced. When I go back to Nashville, where I live in the United States, I usually get a new saddle and a and a new nut made, uh, and that should last me through the year. Uh, but I, I generally keep an eye on things. I always carry a spare. Uh, pick up and microphone as well in my suitcase and uh, the other day I had a I had an issue when I was banging away on this this poor little guitar with my brush and playing a solo and uh, I started to get some n noises in the PA that sounded like they were either coming from here or from the jack plug. The other thing is you've got to remember the jack you use so much because you're you're in and out for the, for the tuner, then you've got sound check, and then you're swapping guitars and you're playing. So this this is usually the first thing to wear out. You know, I mean, I, my lifestyle and the amount of concerts I do are very demanding on, on these these guitars. So that's usually the first thing to go. Um, and they're, they're not really, on the road, they're not really repairable. So what I do is just, I just swap out the whole uh, preamp with the uh, jack plug. I just um, take it all out and it takes me about five minutes, plug everything back in, screw it in, put the strings back on and I, I'm ready to go. And uh, that's what I like about this this whole system. It's it's so user friendly and so easy um, to fix. You just have to know it. Little little Phillips head screwdriver, pair of pliers or a, or a um, shifting spanner. Get, get, take that out change it out and away we go. So um, that's, that's what I do and, and, they, and they, uh, these guitars are really well made. They're, they're strong and they, they're not so sensitive to, to um, uh, cold and, and, and heat as a lot of guitars are. Uh, I find them to be pretty hardy like most Australians. So 
there you go. That's a few goodies for you here.